aviation is highly sensitive to safety. One of the primary objectives of an air traffic controller is to prevent collision between the aircraft. This objective is achieved by ensuring that there is always a minimum separation between two aircraft. Every aircraft is separated by other aircraft by a set minimum separation. Primarily, there are two types of separations. One is horizontal separation and the other one is vertical separation. There are two ways of achieving the horizontal separation. One is using radar method, the other one is using procedural method. In this video, let us understand the horizontal separation using radar. Radar picks up the exact positions of all the aircraft in the sky that are within the range of the radar equipment and plots them on the radar screen. This screen is called a situation display. Air traffic controllers will refer to this screen and provide the required radar separation between the aircraft. Radar separation is achieved by ensuring that no aircraft come closer to other aircraft than the specified minimum distance. In other words, if a circle is drawn using the value of minimum radar separation as radius keeping the aircraft at the center, no other aircraft can enter this circle. Applicable minimum radar separation varies based on the accuracy of the radar equipment and the distance of the aircraft from the radar equipment. Generally, when an aircraft is flying, the minimum radar separation is set at 5 nautical miles or 9.25 kilometers. That means when an aircraft is flying, another aircraft cannot come closer than 5 nautical miles or 9.25 kilometers to this aircraft in any direction. In other words, if a circle with 5 nautical miles or 9.25 kilometers radius is drawn, keeping this aircraft as center, no other aircraft can enter this circle. If the aircraft is in terminal control area, meaning that the aircraft are close to the airport of arrival or departure, and if the airport is equipped with high-definition radar, then the minimum radar separation is reduced to 3 nautical miles or 5.6 kilometers. If two aircraft are on final approach, and if the airport is equipped with high-definition radar, then the minimum radar separation is reduced to 2.5 nautical miles or 4.6 kilometers. In other words, if two aircraft are one behind the other, and are aligned to the landing runway for landing, and if the airport is equipped with high-definition radar, then the minimum radar separation is reduced to 2.5 nautical miles or 4.6 kilometers. Radar separation is achieved using three primary techniques. First one is speed control. This is the method of achieving the radar separation by asking the first aircraft to fly faster or second aircraft to fly slower or a combination of both. Second one is vectoring. This is the method of achieving radar separation by making second aircraft fly longer than the first aircraft. This is typically achieved by asking second aircraft to fly away from the route for some time and bring it back to the route later. Third one is holding. This is the method of achieving radar separation by making second aircraft hold in a racetrack pattern till the required separation is achieved with the first aircraft. Once the required separation is achieved, the aircraft is allowed to leave the holding pattern and continue its flight.